Baseball is live and on the air on the show. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the Arkansas Travelers and the Frisco Rough Riders. We've got baseball on the show, and, now, and it's coming up next. Frisco Rough Riders. Striding in is Luis Liberato. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Down low, two balls and a strike. Got him to swing under that two one. Balls, it's two and two. two yeah, he just wasn't on time right there. Front foot not down in time. Nothing happens before the front foot can get down. Hernandez is there, one away. Next to hit, Cesar Isturiz, as he'll dig into the left-handed batter's box. The 1-1. I got 2-1 to count. One out, nobody on. Struck him out. Now at the plate, here is Dom Thompson-Williams. The center field, Dom Thompson-Williams. A 1-1 home. He is in there for the second strike. Early swing there as he pulls it foul to the right side. Two out, nobody on. Seared down the first baseline. Scooped up, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Now with the plate is Yoni Hernandez. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The 1-1. One, one. Count is two and one. Now a curveball here, nowhere one close. Strike. That's in dirt. It's three and one. Having a little trouble finding the zone to start the night. Walk it's walk. always deflating to walk the leadoff guy in the game. So we'll see if he can initiate some contact here. So now job. to the plate, Ryan oh, Dora. Yeah. Dora. The set and the one-one pitch. Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches, attack the strike zone early, a lot of deep counts, and working himself into a lot of trouble. Three and one to him now. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Fouled away. The 3 2 pitch. Line toward the gap in left center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. And now they'll have runners at the corners to start off the inning. That is good. The third baseman. Into the box now. Josh Young. Hit out toward second. Fielded cleanly. The second for one. Back to first. So they get the double play, but the run does come in to that score. Is so base is empty now after the double play. And standing in the outfielder, Bubba Thompson. And now a curveball that's blowing in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. High in the air out to center field. Thompson Williams finds some space out there for the catch to retire the side. Second inning set to go, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Eric Filia. Here comes the one two. Gets him hey. looking, strike three. Next, it'll be Jake Shiner. The third baseman, Jake Shiner. Here comes the one two. Is looked at for ball number two. Bases are empty, one man out. 2-2 pitch is a fastball high, so it runs full. 3-2. and two. 
No pitcher likes to take the count to three and two, especially when you throw a non-competitive pitch like that on two and two. That one wasn't even close. So we got him looking there. Jake Shiner is sent packing for route number two in the inning. He tried to get that one airborne, but it's one and two. Hit on the ground out to short. Reined in. And the off-balance throw is right there for the third out. And a high degree of difficulty on that one as the side is retired. So now here is Carl Chester. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. So 1-1 one, one home. Now a ball slapped hard the opposite way. Philia is there to put it away for route number one. Next to hit is Alia Hernandez. Now the pitch. That's popped up. And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. A swing and a miss. He offered it a ball way outside the strike zone for out number two. Next, here is Julio Pablo Martinez. Swing and a miss, and it's a ball and two strikes here. Guess who tipped their hand? They were sitting all over a piece of cheese. He flew open on the front side. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Throws him for strike three, and that retires the side. And now here is Dylan Thomas, 7-8-9, bottom of the order set to go here in the third. The three and one pitch. And he makes good contact there, but this is going to find the stands foul down the right field line. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. Another one sent foul. 3-2 one more time. Lifted down the line and left. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Right side, but it's well foul. Hey, five foul balls in a row. Loving the battle in the box right here. Making the pitcher work. Tries to go the other way as this is in the air to left field. Chester moves over a few steps to his right as he's got it for the first Try out. Again. So base. next to hit is David, David Masters. Masters. Here now the 2-2. Rounded down the third baseline. Oh, what a stop on the slide. It's there. He got him. Next to dig in, Jose Godoy. This guy is still looking at a zero in the hit column. Hitters count now. Here's the 2-1. Hit out towards second. He's got it. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Now it'll be Kevin Mendoza as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. Hit on the ground to third. Scooped up. And a good throw gets him one gone. Now into the box, Kyle Blake. The first baseman, Kyle Blake. The 2 1. One thing that can nag at you as a pitcher is having to work really hard to get a guy that you think you should be able to cruise right through. He's not known for his offensive prowess, but he's putting together a real nice at bat here. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. Now so the lineup Second flips baseman. over and digging in, Yoni Yo Hernandez. No Yo official Yo at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. Two balls two and balls. a strike. One strike. And he fouls this one off. Bases are empty here with two men out. 
weak roller right side reined in and he'll step on the bag himself and the inning is over. All set for the start of the fourth and next it'll be the outfielder Luis Liberato still a big bagel in that hit column and this is where the frustration can start setting in on a team if they're not careful. It's never a good feeling when you know the guy out there on the mound is completely shutting you down. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin stands at number four. So the next to bat will be Cesar Isturiz. 50th pitch of the game on its way. In there, one and two now. In the air out toward right field. Hernandez moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for at number one. Digging in next, Don Thompson Williams bounced out last time up. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll two. Two balls and a strike to count. A swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Right fielder looking up, and this one is gone. A home run. At the plate, Eric Filia. He loses him on ball four. And now in the box, Jake Shiner. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Just one hit apiece for both of these clubs. And he misses two and one. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. I think he held up in time, but that becomes moot as it's a cold strike two. He's set. Here's the two two. Out in front here is this one scorched foul to the left. Swung on in the dirt, strike three. In time as he just gets the tag down. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Ryan Doro. The 1-1. One, one. Count two one. Hit the other way out toward right field. Philia is camped under this one, and he's got it for out number one. Ready now is now Josh Young. Is third baseman. Josh Young. And it's fouled away. That's a real nice location with that fastball up and in on the hands. Hard to do much with that because a hitter really can't extend his arms very easily. Hard liner but picked up on a hop. And that's the second out. So here is Bubba Thompson. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. And with his speed, he's one of those rare guys who you'd actually like to see keep the ball on the ground. You can't beat out a fly ball in this game. He'll try it again, 3 and 2. Frozen on the fastball, never had a chance, and the inning is over. Ready to go in the top of the fifth. And next to bat will be the first baseman, Jansen Witte. And he lays off again, ball three. Dylan Thomas will be next. And a good eye here as he takes ball four, and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. 
Now batting. Next will be the designated hitter, Dylan Thomas, comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Ready with the 1 and 1. Swing and a hard liner to center field. And that's in there. Base hit. The batter number two. Second lead. And Blake now, David Masters. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. At the plate now is Jose Godoy. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here's the 1 1. Bounced softly in front of the plate. And indeed, he'll not even try as he goes to first, and that means two men are in scoring position now with two away. Stepping up is Luis Liberato. Luis Liberato. off upstairs but it's ruled a strike and he can't believe it one and two looked like the fastball got away from him there it's ball two I know he missed with a fastball right there but this guy's arsenal you can't figure out what he's trying to do he's got a lot of different directions he can go in right here three and two now Ready with the payoff pitch. And he takes ball four. So now at least they're set up for the force at any base here with two away. So stepping in is Cesar Asturias. One of the bigger spots in the ball game so far. Base is juiced now with two away. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. Three and two now. He was able to sneak that fastball by him on three and one, so so now we've got a battle on our hands. He set the payoff pitch. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. He set the three two, lifted down the line and left. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. The payoff pitch popped him up. Young has a play. He's got it, and that'll get him out of the jam. Bottom of the inning now, and digging in is the outfielder, Carl Chester. Now the payoff pitch home. Fouled off. Now the three and two pitch. Line drive, and that's a base hit in the center field. So that puts the leadoff man aboard to get the inning underway. The right fielder, number six. Oh, the, uh, Stepping in now, Alir Hernandez. A oh, double play ball to second. Four, six, three, and they turn the double play. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Julio Pablo Martinez. He went down looking in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot. Has to put the ball in play. Here comes the one-two. Still a ball and two strikes. Now another one-two. Ball. Pull the string on a good change up there as he swings and misses and he's set down on strikes for the second time tonight. Your Travis Reeder please. takes over to start the sixth Cooper, inning on the mound. Number 38. New inning set to get underway Reader. and at the plate will be the speedy outfielder Dom Thompson Williams. Yeah, Matt, and going back to that last at bat when he hit the homer, that was a fastball that was up in the zone. This guy likes the go. ball up in the zone. So if I'm on the mound right now, I'm thinking try to keep the ball at the knees and below. He doesn't handle that low pitch quite as well. Swing and a flare down the line. In there, a base hit. Now batting. Right field. 
Standing in now, Eric Filia. And that misses for ball four. And it's first and second now with nobody out. Now to bat, Jake Shiner. He's hoping to avoid the hat trick. He struck out in each of his first two plate appearances so far. Now this is slowly hit to short. Probably too slowly to get to. One there on the first, but not in time as he beats it out. Digging in will be Jansen Witte. It was a walk in his last trip. Low scoring game thus far. Two to one here in the sixth. Grounded back up the middle. The tag gets one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Stepping in once again is Kevin Mendoza. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. And he looks at one in there, 1 and 2. I know it's cliche and it's tired at times, but a well-located fastball down at the knees is still the best pitch in the game. And the throw will indeed take care of him for the first out. So next to bat will be Kyle Blake grounded out in his last at bat. 1 1. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Digging in, the switch hitter, Yoni Hernandez. Two outs already on the K this inning, so he'll be looking to do better. And that misses two and one. Boy, that's a tough pitch to take right there. I'm not sure if you're guessing or you're sitting on a pitch, but boy, that was awfully close to being called a strike. That gets down, and the inning will continue. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Domingo Tapia, the right handed reliever, standing 6 3, gets the ball now out of the bullpen. Into the box, Ryan Doro swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Now to the play, Dylan Thomas, one for two in the ball game thus far. The one-one. Oh. I got two one to count. Line towards center field. And there's a base hit, so maybe some insurance here to lead off the seventh. The batter number six. Secondly, David. Into the box now, David Masters. Aye. And he drops a changeup right down Broadway for a cold strike. Might have been taking all the way right there. That pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better. And you can bet he wants that one back at the plate. Two and two the count. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Here's another 2-2. Two -two. Skied into very shallow right. Hernandez will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Stepping in next, Jose Godoy. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Now the 1 and 1 pitch. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. And stepping in, Luis Liberato. Liberato. Set and the 2 1 pitch. Change up, called a strike, and he comes back even at 2 and 2. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance of hitting that one, and the inning is over. Last half of the seventh here, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Josh Young.
And here's a slider for a called strike, and he's behind one and two now. And he got him. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Bubba Thompson. He was sent packing on strikes in his last trip. Yeah, Matty, and he was locked up by a good fastball for strike three last time. I'm interested to see if they attack him the same way. Come at him with hard velo late or snap something off in the dirt to see if he'll fish. Nope. Three and one. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Three balls, two strikes. Now the three and two pitch. The bottom dropped out on him, and that's a strikeout. Up with it, Godoy He's makes out. the throw to first, two down. Go Next, it'll here. be Number Carl 20. Chester. He'll attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. No oh, offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Inside for a ball as he falls behind to him here. Three and one. Into the windup and the pitch. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. Now Up next, Aliyah Hernandez, Aaliyah. man at first after the two-out walk. Here comes the one-two. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. John Giordano has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 49. Now at the plate, Cesar Isturiz. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. That's ball Fastball, three. close, but he didn't get it. Two and one. Aye. Two and two. I got to count. Two and two. The 2 2 pitch. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Looking up is the left fielder. To the track, to the wall. Gone to lead off the inning. At the plate, Dom Thompson Williams. Bullet back up the middle into a slide, and he makes a great catch for the first down. And now, Eric Philia. It was a walk in his last trip. The 3 1. Ripped on the ground to first. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Next up is Jake Shiner. We could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Down the right field line. That's a fair ball. Legs churning. He's headed for second. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. The bat. The first base. Jansen. To the plate now. Jansen Whitty. Sky down the left field line. Left fielder is on the move. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Jack Anderson is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 76. Leading off the inning, it'll be Julio Pablo Martinez, and they could use a spark from him here. 1-1. Swing and a liner. But a foul ball. One and two the count now. Just off the outside that time. Laid off for a ball. Two-two pitches fouled away. Now here's the pitch. Okay. Yeah, well, down two. You better believe they gladly take a leadoff walk right here. Anything to get a base runner on and get that tight run to the plate. Hit on the ground is short. He's right there. And there's one down now. 
So now into the now box batting. is Kepcher. Kevin Mendoza. Kevin. for two on his line thus far. Eighth inning of this low scoring affair. Three to one our score. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Next to stand in baseman. is Kyle Blake. Kyle. He's grounded out and struck Boy. out in his two trips to the plate. Count still at one and two. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Riding forward now is the D.H. Dylan Thomas. He's two for three thus far. Oh, had him off stride that one time, ball. and it's one and two. two. Man, this guy's been locked in all game long. I don't know where that ugly swing just came from. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Thompson comes on now, and he has it one down. Now to the plate, here is David Masters. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. The 1-1 home. Fouled away. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at 2-2. Two and two. And he Full misses count. this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Jose Godoy waits on deck. He's set. Here's the three and two. Comes with a fastball, but it's outside for ball four. Now batting. Next Catch up, Jose Godoy. Jose. He struck out Godoy. swinging in his last trip to the plate. Now the one and one pitch. Ah. Swing and a miss for out number two, and a ball he had no chance of making contact with. Now back, now back to the top Luis. of the lineup, stepping Liberato. in, Luis Liberato. He went down on strikes last time up. The one-two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. And he struck him out, so a good pitch there, and now they're going to need to string some hits together in this last at-bat if they want to get back in this thing. Kyle Wilcox enters the game to finish this one off here in the bottom of the ninth. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Yoni Hernandez, he doubled his last time up. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next A.B. Tried to crush that ball, and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Weak grounder back to the mound. And there's one gone to start the bottom of the ninth. Striding in is Ryan Doro. He was sat down on strikes in his last at-bat. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch-outs will stick with you a little longer. Three and one to him now. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Fastball too high. Ball four. So a runner at first now with one away. And the next to bat will be Josh Young. Working for the punch out and the offering. Ah, had him fooled as he swings through the curveball. Two down. Now back. Into the box. Looks Bubba Thompson. Field. And he needs Bubba. to make something happen. They're down to their final Bubba. out here in the ninth. Has him down to their final strike. Here it comes. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Now the three and two pick. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Just a good, clean, crisp game. And a quick one, too, to boot. Great pitching and defense on both sides. Just a couple of key swings made all the difference in this one. Tonight's ball game comes to a close. Three to one, the final. The Arkansas Travelers took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. 
one ten. Pitch is well enough to get the W. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners Dan Plezak and Mark DeRosa, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a special presentation of MLB The Show. For more, follow us on Twitter at MLB The Show. score for our ball game for the victorious travelers three runs six hits no errors they left nine runners on base for the Rough Riders one run on three hits no errors they left three men on base time of the ball game two hours and 34 minutes thank you for joining us here this evening we remind you to please drive home safely